more and more people are being sent a notice to complete a self-assessment tax return. Let me explain to you how income tax is calculated and how you can lower your income tax bill. Tax bans are currently frozen until the 6th of April 2028. That means that they will not increase with inflation. And this is known as fiscal drag as more and more people will get pay rises, pushing them into becoming higher rate taxpayers. So the tax burden is forever increasing. It can cost from around £150 plus VAT to have an accountant do your tax return for you, but it's possibly more if you have a more complicated situation such as rental properties. You might be able to do it yourself after watching this video. So we need to start with the personal allowance, which is the amount of tax-free income that you're allowed. And it's currently £12,570. And associated with your personal allowance, you'll have a tax code. The number on the tax code is generally your personal allowance divided by 10. And then if you have the letter L after it, that means you're entitled to the standard personal allowance. So a common tax code is 1257L. But a lot of people don't get the standard personal allowance. Some get an additional marriage allowance and some have amounts taken off their personal allowance because they owe small amounts of tax from a previous year or they receive benefits in kind from their employer, such as free medical insurance. So your tax code might have a different number to 1257 and it might have a T at the end or a K at the beginning. And in the worst possible case, it could be zero and T, meaning that you have no tax code because currently there's no record of you on the HMRC tax system. The tax year runs from the 6th of April until the 5th of April, and the filing deadline is the 31st of January in the next year if it's done online. In England and Wales, the basic rate of tax is 20% and it applies from £12,571 to £50,270, but it's actually basically the first £37,700 worth of income after your personal allowance has been used up. Next, we've got the higher rate of tax, which is 40% from £50,271 up to £125,140. We've also got the personal allowance taper. This means that your personal allowance goes down by £1 for every £2 that your adjusted net income is over £100,000. It means that your personal allowance is zero if your income is £125,000 140 pounds or above. The marginal rate of taxation now becomes 60% between 100,000 and 125,140 pounds. 40% is the normal tax rate and then an additional 20% is for the reduction in personal allowance. So what is meant by adjusted net income? Well, it's basically your income less any trading losses if you're self-employed, donations made through gift aid or pension contributions. So a key way to reduce your income tax bill is to make additional pension contributions. You can do this into your workplace pension or into a personal pension. However, with a personal pension, you can only reclaim income tax at the 20% rate. To get the rest of the tax back, you need to reclaim it via a self-assessment tax return, and then it will be paid not into your pension, but into your bank account. However, for a workplace pension, the income tax is never paid by you. The money just goes gross straight into your workplace pension. So that is the best route. And then finally, we've got the additional rate of taxation on income over £125,140 charged at 
If you're employed, then your income tax is deducted at source under PAYE, pay as you earn. But if you have interest or dividend income, this may need to be collected separately through your tax return. If you're self-employed, then your income tax will be based on your accounting profits. This will be all the costs involved in your business and then you're also allowed home office expenses. One way you can do this is through flat rate simplified expenses, which are £312 a year plus any cost of your mobile phone and your home broadband. If you are claiming expenses, you do need to keep receipts as the HMRC could ask to see them. So now let's look at some worked examples of how income tax is calculated. Step one is to input your personal allowance derived from your tax code. And here we've put in £12,570. Next, we input the gross pay. And here we put in £55,000. It tells us that the total taxable income is 42430 of which 37700 is taxed at the basic rate, then the rest at the higher rate. So we've got a tax bill at the moment of 7540 at the basic rate, 1892 at the higher rate. So if we don't want to pay the higher rate, we've got to do something about it. The way to lower the tax bill is to just put in a pension contribution into our workplace pension. We're probably already putting in 5% anyway, but if we add to that and say make a total of a 10% contribution, then our taxable income is lowered now to 49,500. And as you can see, we're only paying income tax at the basic rate, total bill 7,386 pounds. Now in this example, the pay has gone up to 150,000 pounds, pension contribution at 5%. And we can see that the whole of the reduction in personal allowance applies, paying 60% tax on that, a bill of £15,000 on £25,000 worth of income. And the total tax bill is £50,328. So this person clearly needs to try and put a bit more money into their pension. And the most they can put in in any one year is £60,000. Before I file my tax return, I always calculate my taxes in a spreadsheet first to make sure that what HMRC says is my tax bill makes sense to me. I prefer to use a spreadsheet rather than a website because with a spreadsheet you've got transparency around the calculations and you can do further analysis such as a breakdown of what you spend, what goes on taxes, and what you invest in terms of pensions and ISAs. To get hold of the spreadsheet, come to my website, ianshadrack.com and subscribe to my newsletter. There's also a link in the description to this video. The spreadsheet comes with instructions on how to use it and a few useful links to tax information from HMRC.